Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the units of production method in accounting. We've got an example, so let's get started. My name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching through the financial accounting chapters. We're in Chapter 9, Accounting for Long-Term Assets. So I've got playlists for all the things above. I've got articles, videos, and everything. So we're in Chapter 9, working on depreciation. So let's talk about the units of production depreciation. Now, the first one we did was straight line, and that is the cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life, and that gives us the annual depreciation or the depreciation per year. So one change to get the units of production formula, we're going to take the cost minus the salvage value, so the same numerator, and then divide by the number of units. So we have a depreciation per unit. Now, what does this mean? If you have a truck, it's not that the truck is three years old, it's that the truck has 100,000 miles on it. That shows the use, so in some things we use a units of production rather than the length of time. So here's the information we need to do a units of production. We need to know the cost, so 475,000, and the salvage value, just like before, but instead of saying this is gonna be five years or four years or 10 years, we're gonna say, well, how many units can we produce? How many hours can it run? How many miles can it run or whatever? So here we have equipment. We think we're gonna produce 10,000 units uh, before we need to replace it or whatever. So the useful life is not years, it's 10,000 units. So our formula is gonna be 475,000 minus 25,000 divided by the 10,000. So let's calculate what that is, 475, minus 25 divided by the 10,000 units. Now, just a little note here, we're gonna depreciate over 10,000 units, over the first 10,000 units. So let me give you an example. What if we have a straight line problem and we say it's five year asset? It doesn't mean at the end of five years, let's say you have a truck for five years, it doesn't mean after five years you have to get rid of the truck, dispose of the truck, sell the truck, or whatever. It still may have value, and it you still may run, and you still may use it. It's just been fully depreciated. So here's a little point we're going to make. We need to depreciate over the first 10000 It may run more than that. Okay, so let me give you a clue real quickly just to give you a heads up. Let's add this up. Let's add up the number of units. Well, it's 10,300. Don't assume that this 10,000 is gonna equal exactly 10,000 here, the number of units. So one of the problems that you might have uh, in, in a book or in a, an accounting problem or a test, there might be a little trick here. Your professor might put in a little trick where this adds up to over 10,000. And so what you wanna do is don't make the mistake of depreciating over 10,300. You only depreciate over 10,000. So what's our depreciable base? It's 475 minus 25. So we only depreciate 450,000. So let me show you how we adjust that at the very end. I'm just giving the heads up because I want you to, to see on these problems. Uh, a lot of times if you're not careful, you just assume 10,000 and all these would equal 10,000. All right. so. What is our depreciation expense for the first year? Well, we're going to take the 1200 times the $45. We're going to make it absolute because we're going to multiply it times 45 all the way down. So that's 54000 And then we'll copy it all the way down. And we know we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. So let's sum this up. We only want to do this for 450000 Our depreciable base is 475 minus 25,000, or we only depreciate over the 10,000. So how do we adjust the 2029 number? Well, we have a total of 10,300, so we need to subtract out the 20, 2,800 minus the 300 that we're over. So we're gonna depreciate it only over the first 2,500 here in 2029. So let's make that problem here. We're going to take the 2,500 times the $45, and that equals exactly 450,000 over the five years. Okay. So the units of production is 10,000 units, but it's the first 10,000. You don't keep depreciating beyond the 10,000. 
All right, so what would our accumulated depreciation be? It would be 54,000. And then 54,000 plus 81,000. And then 135 plus 99,000. And keep going, I'm gonna copy this down. So we're at total accumulated depreciation of 450,000. So what happens to our book value? Our book value is our cost. So I'm going to use the cost way up here. Minus the accumulated depreciation of 54,000 in the first case, and then all the way down. So what's the book value going to be at the very end? Well, at the total accumulated depreciation of 450, our book value is 25,000. All right, so that's how you do the depreciation schedule using units of production. So I've got some questions here. Your problem, your homework or your test or your problem in class might say, well, what's the first year depreciation expense? Make the entry. So you have to calculate the depreciation first and then know how to use it in the entry. So the first year is going to be 54000 and the accumulated depreciation, 54000 All right, so that's this number here. Well, what about year two? They might say, calculate year two and give the journal entry for year two. Well, it's going to be 81,000 is our depreciation expense and 81,000 is our accumulated depreciation. It goes up 81,000. So let's do a couple more things. Let's ask a couple of questions here. What is year two depreciation expense? Well, we just did this. Our year two depreciation expense is 81,000. What is accumulated depreciation at the end of year three? Well, one, two, three, it's 234,000 is our accumulated depreciation. What's our book value at the end of year four? Well, year four, our book value is 137,500. So if you can do the depreciation schedule for straight line or for units of production or for the next one, uh, the double declining balance, and you can answer these questions. So if you just get in a strategy of just laying this all out where you understand it, then you're going to be good on any question that, that the problem might ask about depreciation. All right, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.